Howdy cowdies, are running a bit late tonight, but we got there. Weekly walkabout time at the Collector. There's some cool stuff in this week. Some really nice silver jewellery. A proper Tiffany & Co bangle. Some lovely fob medallions. A little Victorian hand-painted miniature there. A little sort of saint on it. Old Wascana tobacco tin with a Native American Indian. Got some nice little New Zealand carved sort of bone pendants. More nice silver. These are kind of pretty cool. Little packaged individual McRobinsons. Um, super fine milk chocolate, enjoy their chocolate and collect the series of foreign postage stamps. So there's a little stamp in each little packet of them. Kind of cool. Postcards. Pascal's McRobb's tins over the back. More nice little tobacco and butterscotch tins. Cards. This is a pretty cool little rolled up cartoon um, by I think Len Haggart who played at Geelong, who was the captain of Geelong. And it's actually a picture of Sam Wells, the other cartoonist. There's a good little image of it on our website. Um, little sort of cycling chalk tins. Some nice little bits of jewellery in amongst here. Little Art deco 1930s sort of stuff. More tobacco and other tins. The Abdullah one there has uh, never been opened. Uh, I really like this. Beautiful big bit. A little Art Nouveau. Uh, Australian Tasmanian Blackwood Dumbwaiter. Really nice thing with the carving on the doors, carving on the back section. It's in beautiful condition, lovely bit. It's probably going to be the what's it worth for this week. This is pretty wacky. It's some bloody intraocular cutter console. And there's all the bloody tools and stuff in it. You can slice up eyeballs. Uh, it's some optical surgery thing or something. I'm just getting into a little bit of Dali Pixies action. There we go. Some cigarette cards of all different sort of ships, emblems and stuff. Little blouse chest is a cutie. Nice stuff in here. More sort of blokey tins, model kits, tobacco tins, badges. Big lots of stamps. Some good model kits in the sale this week. Good old HMS hood. Paintings with a lot of sort of European abstract stuff. Punch magazines, mad magazines. National Lampoon magazines. Pretty good microscope here. Pretty amazing light microscope. Aaron reckons that's a bloody good thing. I don't know shit about it though. What else have we got? Lights. Little planet lamps. A nice one with a nice little sort of telephone table. Um, HO gauge train gear. Um, big box of bells. What else have we got? Harley Davidson sort of style helmet with some goggles. Dryzer bones. Coats. Little box of toys, nice little sewing machine and some other gear in there. This is N-Gage train stuff in this box. Cool big mixed media artwork up the top by Jess, the Melbourne graffiti artist. Signed and dated 2014. It's all made out of spray can tops. Damn cool. Stereo gear, mix lots, bar mirrors, percussion instruments and a cool little basic bongo beat book. All the bees. Some more paintings by Jest, graph artist again, abstracts, kind of like this little sort of bachelor kitchen cupboard with a sort of little table that drops down, a little leg folds out, you've got some space inside, a little badge made by Meyer and Douglas in the back, looks to be nice myrtle or something like that, I think someone's painted it white, so you probably could strip it back, kind of like the little catch on the top there, it's pretty cool to let the little bench table down and put it back up again. Not that I can bloody get it back up again. Ah, shit. There we go. Cool big bench seat's pretty cool as well, out of an old school or something like that. Stereo gear. What else have we got? Paintings, big group, lots of mixed items. Pretty amazing lamp. This thing's bloody crazy. It's out of an old dentist. It's like an operating theatre lamp. There's a sort of bracket to go on the wall. So it swings out, swings back, and the whole sort of forearm branch Goes around and whichever, every, every which way you want it to. Really cool thing. Old sort of trolley and bassinet out of a hospital or something. Some rusty metal stuff up the top there. A little lot of European school watercolours. Record players cute. A little medieval night fire tidy set. And else we've got some nice lamps, sort of deco ones and some others. There's bloody BJ making it look like he's doing something. What else have we got? This is a big articulated, it's a big drill, once again. There you go, ultra dent. 
A big badge on it once again it mounts against the wall there's a little foot pedal to get it going and everything and this is the sort of stuff up the end here the business end there you go bloody don't want to know what you do with it but anyway that's another dentist drill there uh, I got some nice little paintings this week got a pretty cool old sort of train signal lamp what else have we got oil lamp parts china tins model kits pottery and glass more tins, some nice clocks, more tins, some good books and ephemera this week. Da, 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 da. What else have we got? Some nice little pickies actually. Show you a couple of them. I like this little Elsie Middleton, a little ripper. And there's a, quite a nice, this is nice, a uh, little Fiona Fraser. A little watercolour there, sort of entering Melbourne or something with a little clock. The left hand side, it's signed and dated 96. Like this, Ellsworth Overton. A little oil painting there up into the Northern Territory. Good artist, good thing. Alright, another microscope here. Let's actually sling him down here. Cool microscope, big group lot of china and glass and stuff there. Uh, a couple of bits of glass up on top as well. All these Chinese ginger jars are quite nice. There you go, another little lot with, the, I think it's Bayat Hoyetza, uh, Israeli 70s pottery vase. The racer up the top. Bar trays, oriental gear, glass and crystal, tins, stamps, costume jewellery. Little donkey cigarette dispensers ace with some other ashtrays, Harry Mamet and stuff. Tins, comics. Black cats, comics, tins, sort of ladies' beauty products, jam labels, some gringos hanging out, stamps, model kits, more tins, nice little blotter, little advertising Craven A, which is pretty cool, model kits, more tins. This is pretty amazing as well, a little sort of wall mountable, little dentist sort of little table. As well, a little black glass top, as you can see, has slid off it, but it just whacks back on without too much of an issue. It's nice little drawers and stuff in the front of it and, and in the back of it as well. And it all spins around. Pretty cool. More nice little watercolours and things here. This is a little cutie by Fanny Richardson, New Zealand artist. And this is pretty cool, the original Sunshine Harvester adverts taken out of the Lone Hand magazine. We'll put them over there. Uh, engravings, picnic sets, stamps, blokey gear, some signed John Gorton books. Nice little sort of deco clock there with a Westminster chime. Uh, what else have we got? Roller skates, pretty cool lantern or torch or something, battery operated. Tins, Wedgwood and sort of Royal Albert. Some big bloody gas burner thing. Model kits, stamps, train set. There you go, it's a whole David Winter village. Look at it. Big lot, pretty cool big lot actually. Also another big nice lot of blue and white china. Good lot of tins again. Little Bo Peeps a cutie. Pottery, tins, pottery, tins. Tins, tray, tin, tins. Pretty good train set. Instructions for operating your gold sheet chief electric train are made by Morlin Manufacturing in Sydney. It looks to be complete. It's got the engine, the carriages, transformer to go with it. Pretty good lot. Lone Hand magazines, some other comics, Private Eye and some other rat stuff. Nice stamps in here. Some nice old Courier and Ives colour lithos of sort of American Civil War scenes. Pretty cool, actually, with the sort of boats and stuff like that, old submarines. Terrific combat between the Monitor, two guns, and Merrimack, ten guns. Nice bits of glass, deco check, another Amberina, some more nice Australian tins. I really like him, he just needs a little bit of a clean, a little piggy bank, engaged train gear. Some nice stuff at the top, Victorian glass vase, which does light up under a UV light, the Sunshine Biscuit. Um, a little top there to go on your biscuit tins a cracker of a bit. National Australia Bank sort of 50th anniversary book published probably I'm guessing post 1908 but not much longer after that. Another lovely tin as well. Interesting big bit of Australian pottery in the corner.
Uh, you know, I could keep rambling on, but that'll do. We're running a bit late, like I said, so we've got to get started to catalogue. Anyway, guys, hopefully you saw something you liked. You know, I don't really care if you did or if you didn't.